More teens are texting than ever before. A new study by the Pew Research Center finds that 75% of all children between the ages of 12 and 17 have cell phones, and it's changing the way they communicate. CBS News correspondent Whit Johnson has more. Would you say that you're addicted to texting? I wouldn't call it addicting. I could stop. Jennifer Garcia Rodriguez may say she can go without texting, but she, like one third of all U.S. teens, sends out more than 100 text messages a day. So you can almost type text faster than you can speak. Oh, yeah. A new Pew Research study found 88% of teen cell phone users text, and some admit they don't always do it when it's appropriate. I'm not going to lie, sometimes in class, too. The study shows teens text more than they email, talk on websites like Facebook, talk on the cell phone. They text even more than they talk face to face. So it's one thing if they're just texting to make plans. It's another if that's their entire relationship with somebody. That part's not healthy. Parenting experts say how often your teens text may not be as important as the content in the messages. Have your child show you the text and say, what are you texting? You know, you're still the parent. So it's still important for you to ask your child, what are you doing? The study found many parents are doing their homework. 64% monitor the contents of their teen's cell phone. But mothers like Terry Singalis find it tough to keep up. It would be nice to have more of my children's attention, but I had to learn to text myself in order to even get them to respond to me. Whit Johnson, CBS News, Washington. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.